Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jessica. I'm a mommy of two. If you love to see vlogs or routine videos or even content involving step parents or co parenting, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit the like button and leave any questions down in the comment section. I answer every single comment. In today's video, we are going to be talking about sleep training. I somehow sleep trained Ollie in two days, my one year old. I don't know how I did it, but I totally did it. I'm gonna leave my tips and tricks in this video. We had breakfast and Ollie's a bit cranky today, so I'm sorry if you guys see him throwing some tantrums. It was a bit hot last night and we didn't put air conditioners in yet. So that's what's happening with him. Lily is currently on the computer doing her schoolwork. She'll probably be on there until about one o'clock because she's got to FaceTime her teacher. So yeah, it's just me and Ollie basically until she's finished. And he's probably gonna go up stairs at around 10, 30, 11. What's the matter? He might even go up earlier because he doesn't sleep well, but he, we started sleep training. I'll talk about sleep training more later when he's asleep. But he's miserable. He's absolutely miserable. What's your problem, dude? What's your problem? She's miserable too. I am. I got like no sleep. I kept waking up and I woke up at six in the morning. Might take him out so for outside for a little bit and get some fresh air because it's pretty nice out today. I thought it was gonna rain, but it's not. So we'll go outside and do something fun. Into the backyard. Let's go have some fun. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to me. You notice me, let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time I know I jumped right from going outside to putting him to sleep, but he just was not having it this morning. It's about 10 o'clock. He was outside for an hour and then he was just like, yeah, I'm ready for bed. So I gave him a little bit of milk because he seemed a bit hungry. So I gave him that and then he immediately wanted to go right into the crib. So I was like, okay, let's do this guy. He fell right to sleep. <laughs> he was really tired. So he's down. I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about how I managed to somehow sleep train him in two days. I cannot believe it because I thought it was going to be a huge cry fest and it wasn't. So um, I'm also sorry that I'm up here because Lily is doing her schoolwork and she's on FaceTime with her teacher. So we're upstairs today. Um, so let me quickly go through this. So the first day we did it was Thursday. It is now Monday. So Thursday was a bit hard. I started him out at lunchtime. I actually kind of rocked him to sleep and then put him in his crib and he pretty much slept three hours and then he was fine. That night was kind of hard for us. He, we basically did the cry out method. It was really, it was time. Like he was ready and we were ready and it was just, it needed to happen. So we put him in the crib actually i gave him his milk we did his nighttime routine which we've always done he got a bath we brought him in his bedroom got him comfortable and then we laid him down with his 
blanket and put a crap ton of binkies in there and we just left the room. We said goodnight and left the room. We put on the camera and we put on the white noise and we sat downstairs. He cried a little bit on and off for 15 minutes and then he went down. He settled down and just went straight to sleep and he slept all night. He did not get up at all. Usually when we put him to sleep, like physically put him to sleep in our bed, he will wake up in the middle of the night by like 10, 1 in the morning. He'll wake up like twice and he didn't wake up at all. He slept all night. So the day after Friday for his nap time during the day, I put him down by myself because Anthony was working at like 11ish. I just put him right in the crib. He cried for about five minutes and went straight down. Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. I can't believe how fast it it just happened. So then at that night, he cried for about two minutes and went straight to sleep. Like it was, I cannot, I seriously, guys, I wish I recorded it because it was magical. I couldn't believe how fast he just went down. So it happened quickly. I think he was honestly just ready to be put in his crib by himself and settle himself. So he today you seen him he as soon as i put him in he cried a little bit and then i tucked him in gave him his binkies and he was out he didn't cry he didn't fuss he just fell asleep he was tired so my biggest tips for this is you want to wait until the very last moment your child's giving you cues that they are extremely tired rubbing their eyes little bags under their eyes yawning that they are ready for bed and that is when you put them in the crib you don't wait any longer than that and you don't try before that because if you try before that they're gonna be antsy and they are not gonna go to sleep if you try after that they're gonna be extremely overtired and it's gonna be rough so as soon as he gives us the cue he rubs his eyes or he even starts to get the little little bags under his eyes or if he yawns we instantly take him right up and another tip is guys I know it's extremely hard to leave your child crying I am not a mother who lets my kids cry I'm just not that mother like I understand in a couple of vlogs that he cries and I just like let him kind of go but as soon as I turn this camera off I pick him up like I am that mother <laughs> And I'm not ashamed of that. So sleep training was very hard for us. The first day of him crying for 15 minutes, Anthony actually teared up a bit because it's just, that's just not who we are. So definitely, definitely just try it. Um, you don't want to go into the room frequently and you don't want to go in the room when the baby's crying. See, when I said that he, the first day he cried for 15 minutes, he was off and on. So by the 10 minute mark, I actually went up there and like he was already like, he wasn't crying. I went in there, put him back down and then left. And he was, he fell asleep five minutes later. Um, he knew I wasn't coming back in because he was crying and he went to bed. So that is like my biggest tip. Like, I understand that it's hard that some babies might cry a lot longer than Oliver did. Um, but if you wait the 10 minutes mark or even wait until they settle a little bit and then go in there and, like, reassure them it's okay, that's fine. Uh, but don't go in there when they're crying because it's just, it makes it worse. <laughs> um, so, yeah, not, not too bad. And then as the days went on, he just took shorter times to go down and shorter periods of crying. So, it definitely made it a lot easier um saturday was kind of a rough day he he didn't go down instantly he cried for like a minute and then he just played in there for like 15 minutes he was playing with his binkies and stuff which is fine as long as he's not crying he's just settling himself down to go to sleep and that's totally okay so once I know that he's giving me those signals and he's ready for bed, I do take him up and just put him in there and I let him do whatever he's doing. Yesterday during his nap time, he was in there for like 20 minutes playing around. Again, that's totally fine. He's settling himself down as long as he's not crying or freaking out or, you know, I just let him go. So 
um, and then he took a three hour nap. So it, it works out in the end. So I definitely recommend this. Make sure you try it out if you haven't already. And guys, tell me how you sleep trained your child or if you're about to sleep train your child. I would love to hear how you're doing it or what your tricks and tips were. It's also great for other moms who are looking for other tips in the comment section. So please leave them down below. I'm gonna go downstairs and just relax a little bit. So he is now up from his nap playing with his toys. As you can see, he slept pretty good. He slept about two hours. And it's almost 12 o'clock, so we're probably gonna eat lunch and then maybe go to the park because it's really nice out. So, gotta get some fresh air. Thank you. our walk we took like a two hour walk we sat in the park for like an hour and then it took me forever to drag them home because this one decided to get in the wagon and I hit my head <laughs> we're eating snacks Ollie has some new vanilla wafers and some brownie fudge bites because he has to have everything like me yeah Lily had fudge brownies so now he's got to eat brownies and he's got some water and we're probably gonna head outside again because they want to and I'm sweating. I'm sorry guys, I am sweating. It's so hot out and I didn't know I was gonna pull Lily too along with him so that was like 100 pounds that I had to pull. <laughs> and I had to carry home Lily's scooter because it didn't fit in the wagon with the both of them. <sighs> Mama is dying. <laughs> so it's about 3.30 now. Ollie is just relaxing with me. Lily went to her dad's. I put dinner in, we're having chicken for dinner, and we're just uh, just relaxing here. He took an early nap, like I said, so I don't know how long he's actually going to stay up for. He might go to sleep pretty early today, because again, he didn't sleep well last night because it was hot. So we're just cuddling and watching some TV. I have him right next to me drinking his milk, well, it's right there. And then I'm gonna take him up because he's definitely ready. My recommendations helped you. Please leave a comment down below. I would really love to hear your experiences. And if they didn't, please let me know what actually it worked because you know every baby is different. So he's gonna finish this. I'm gonna take him up and brush his teeth and then I'm gonna put him to bed and let's see how fast he goes down. Say night night, buddy. Say night night. Come on. Night night. <laughs> <laughs> night night. Woo, it's bright in here. Night night. Night night, give me kisses. Night night, buddy. <laughs> Good night, buddy. Good night. Good night. Love you. See you in the morning. Okay, like you just seen, Anthony was already home, so he was able to help me go up and record this. So I got him in the bed. He did little tears when I put him in there. I laid him back down, put his blanket on, and now he is just laying there ready for bed. So, yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more vlogs, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of the video was. I'm always looking to make my vlogs more entertaining for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on Sunday with a new video.
Bye guys.